Hello, my name is Christopher and today I'm going to show you how to install AdGuard Home on Casa OS. So Casa OS is to where you can install Docker containers and they have a marketplace and they have a dashboard that you can customize and AdGuard Home protects your network uh, with different uh, filter lists and stuff that you can put in yourself or you can go with the default ones. So a little bit about this series is I'm going over um, starting a home lab. Uh, so I'm going to go over installing things to getting things running, everything like that. So if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. So a little bit about AdGuard Home is it makes it to where you can network wide uh, block ads and tracking and malware and stuff like that uh, based on your filter list that you put in and um how does adguard home work adguard home operates as a dns server uh, that reroutes tracking domains to a black hole thus preventing your devices from connecting to those servers it's based on software we use for our public adguard dns servers um so this makes it to where you can you can uh protect your family or friends or whoever's on your network from uh, malicious things. Now a little bit about uh, Casa OS is it makes it to where it's a personal cloud for yourself. So you can install Docker containers on it. It's personal cloud reimagined. And um, it has a app store, uh, which is a marketplace for one click installs. Um, you can connect all of your data to it and then um, you can access your server anytime anywhere and then it's got a flexible dashboard discover new apps and command line interface and build your home data center I also did a video I'll link it down in the description of how I installed Casa OS share share files across the network protect your family's privacy data Freely add disk and expansion spaces. Simple, elegant, and easy to use. So it just makes it to where you don't have to use the command line for this. It's got a UI built in. So that they have all kinds of apps. As you can see here, they have a community you can join. It's on Discord. So uh, Zimboard, x86 Pi. And that's about Casa OS. So before we install AdGuard, we have to make sure that port 53 is open. And um, I, I created a guest for it. So I'm gonna go over to <clears throat> the Proxmox panel. I'm gonna go into my Casa OS, my console, and then I'm going to paste in the netstat and then I'm going to see if port 53 is taken. And it is. It's taken by system D resolve. Which is sometimes installed by default. So. I'm going to uh, have to run the. Um, I'm going to have to disable the service. And then I'm going to disable the service right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and stop the service. Make sure it's stopped completely. Okay. Now I'm going to stop the service. And now I'm going to run netstat again. And port 53 is not taken now. So what we've done here is we've cleared port 53. And we're ready to install AdGuard Home on Casa OS. So now we've cleared port 53. So now we're ready to install AdGuard Home. So I'm going to go to the App Store right here. And then I'm going to go to the AdGuard Home. And uh, you'll see requirements 64 megabytes and 120 megabytes. So now I'm going to press the Install. You can continue in background right here if you have a longer image uh, that takes more space and takes more time to install. So now we can open the AdGuard Home. And we're ready to go to setup. So I'm going to set it up. So it's going to listen on port 80. The web interface is. The DNS server is going to listen on port 53. And then it does recommend having a static 
IP address. So you'll just take your MAC address for the CASA OS and then uh, uh, you'll put a IP on there that's not in the IP pool of the DHCP server on your router. So now I'm gonna go to next. I'm gonna put in my username and password and uh, make sure you remember this because you'll need it to sign into the web UI. Okay, now I'm gonna press next. And you'll see instructions for installing the uh, DNS server on all these. So I'm going to press next and then I'm gonna press open dashboard. It'll send you back to the CASA OS because now you have to go into settings right here and you have to um, you, you have to put 72, 100 and then 80 as a port. So the, the host operating system will have 7200 and the uh, container inside will be 80. So if you remember uh, the setup UI, the uh, web interface was listed on port 80, so that's in the container. So now we're going to change the web UI's uh, port to run a change to 7200, like we did on the host side. And I'm gonna press save. So now you'll be able to open up your AdGuard home. You'll be able to go to your UI and I'm gonna sign in real quick. And you can see that, that uh, we, we have a few DNS queries because I put this on my DNS on the um, my computer. So um, it's all installed up and running and you can get the setup guide over here, but should be good to go now. So I just showed you step-by-step step on how to get AdGuard Home working on CASA OS. This makes it to where you can run your own DNS uh, filter list and everything and block things on the DNS level to protect your network. So uh, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And uh, if you need any support, you can go down to the Big Bear community. It'll be down in the description. You can join our Discord and uh, ask in the support form uh, and be a little bit more detailed so we can help you as much as possible. So until next time, stay tuned.